just getting started and we already hit our first speed bump. Having some issues locking or licensing the file. Hopefully this is not a sign of things to come. We need to get past this in order to actually tune the car. So, we'll see. So we just got done with our smoke test of our Redneck smoke machine and unfortunately we didn't find a leak. The tip sensor was leaking. So what we do is we fill this thing with baby oil, hook it up to a battery and pump the air compressor through it. Connect that hose to a hose on the intake manifold and then just wait. And we're seeing if we're, we're looking to see if we have any smoke coming out. And we did see smoke coming out of the tip sensor. So we're gonna fix that now. So we just wait and then eventually we saw smoke coming out of the uh, intake there, which is good because that means everywhere else is seen the smoke. And then we just wait and watch. Check under the car, check all around it to see if any other smoke is coming out. And so far we only found one leak, but unfortunately it's a very important location. The tip sensor has to be flush, no leaks whatsoever. So that's kind of a deal breaker. So we're gonna try to fix that. I'm using that up, this opportunity to go ahead and clean the sensor. And I'm also gonna take the intake manifold uh, sensor off as well, the map sensor, clean that one. And Cross my fingers, hopefully no other issues. All right, so we are pretty sure that we fixed the leak on the tip sensor. We're letting it cure for a little while longer before we test it again. Uh, run into another problem though. We are trying to connect to the auxiliary fuel injectors and it's using some obsolete technology with the serial 9 pin bin cable and I'm having trouble connecting to it. You see I've got USB to serial port adapter there. There's the controller here. It's got it all wired out. It's not finalized right now. We're just testing. If you check this out, this is actually really slick. This is a 3.7 fuel rail that has been adapted to the factory 3.5 intake manifold and we have put it under pressure we've smoke tested it and we're not seeing any leaks so i'm actually really impressed with that portion if i could only control the fuel we'd be doing pretty good but right now i can't connect to the controller so that's really an unknown i don't know if we're going to be able to use it at all So a few more gremlins are popping up. Right now we're having an issue where well, the engine will be running and then all of a sudden voltage will spike to 20. And I'll see a little flash by the battery in the trunk. And then immediately after that, if I shut the car off, it won't start anymore. So we're fighting that right now. For a little while the trans was stuck in third gear, but that seemed to be also related to the voltage issue. So we're hoping that if we can trace down the source of the voltage issue, that both will just solve themselves. Unfortunately, voltage and power gremlins are like, you know, one of the absolute worst things that you can run into. So we'll see. Right now it's like four o'clock or so. We've been at it since nine in the morning and as of right now we haven't made a hit on the dyno yet come close we thought we were ready and then another spark so man tough start lots of hurdles today but we are still cranking away and hoping we can meet our goal sitting here watching battery voltage timing it if there's any correlation. It's got all sorts of lights on the dash. Speedo's going crazy. Want to try it in gear? Yeah, go ahead. We'll put this thing in gear. And it's already saying third. Do what? 
It's saying third already. Commanded gear third. Clanking. not trip it didn't trip it no it's not trip all right let me try to shut it off okay still got power So that was while cranking. That's a whole new correlation. That was while cranking. Oh man, so bad. <laughs> I don't understand this. Yeah, it's dead. Yeah, it's dead. I watched it click. Okay, so we are done for the day. It's almost eight o'clock and we uh, basically determined that we have a charging issue. Things seem to be better when the battery voltage is better. So we're gonna leave it charged overnight and hope for the best in the morning. We were able to make one hit on the stock PCM and put down what I expected, you know. 320 horsepower, around 340 foot-pounds of torque. It's a little tricky with third gear because it doesn't have the ability to shift into gear, so you have to kind of roll into it. But tomorrow we'll we'll lock that into gear and get that going, so that's not a problem anymore. But a lot of speed bumps today, but we're leaving on a good note, so that's good. And we have a full day tomorrow. More to come. Talk to you then.